Hello everybody, it's Sko from Westmore Gamers Guild, kind of out of screen. Um, doing an unboxing video, I ended up picking up, or I helped kickstart the Battletech Clean Invasion. My stuff finally came in, so I'm going to open it up here with you and we'll see what we got inside here. Alright. Yeah, it's been a little bit over a year since we kickstarted it and just waited on it, you know what I mean? Freaking laws delays, the Rona, stuff like that sucks, but we got it. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, some packing. Oh, wow. All right. Well, first thing I see right off the bat is uh, Clan Heavy Strike Force. Uh, a lot of new mechs, new sculpts. I'm not 100% sure. That's a vulture. I think that's supposed to be a man of war or a gargoyle. Uh, might be a Loki, but, uh, what the company has done, they have, uh, revamped a lot of their sculpts, that newest computer game that came out, they, uh, clicked all the renderings and made them into mechs, which is pretty nice, I guess it gives it more of a, uh, I guess a realistic feel to the mech, let's see what it does come in here. Uh, clean heavy strike, force includes a gargoyle, oh, that's a hellbringer. Mad Dog, Vulture, Ice, Ferret, and a Viper. No assembly required. That's pretty cool. So, let's see, let's see the contents of said box. There we go. It looks like they all come with like Alpha Strike cards. I'm not a big fan of Alpha Strike, I'll be honest. Uh, it's, it's, it's a fun, faster way to play. Oh, wow. These look really good. Yeah, oh, I see. It's Hellbringer, Mad Dog. Oh, they also come with the pilot cards. That's something that I've seen in a lot of them lately. Uh, I guess if your play group is playing, besides doing your tropical pilots and stuff like that, it's another fun alternative. It comes with two different pilots and skills that you're... Uh, gunnery and your on the other side is your piloting skill but it gives you special rules for different pilots i suggest if you're going to do these try to adjust your battle vibes accordingly okay it comes with five cards and a lot of these are double-sided so sometimes it'll be the same mech or a different mech but usually they're like different clans stuff like that i'm not sure what clan i'm going to paint my stuff up as i'll be honest I'm more of an inner sphere guy, Hal Steiner and such. That's pretty cool. Put this off to the side, see what else we got in here. If you have any ideas on what I should paint, what clan, just let, let me know. Okay, inner sphere battle lance. Looks like a rifleman. Uh, I think that's a battle. That's not a battle master. It might be a warhammer. These other two, I don't, I don't recognize what they are. Uh, let's see here. Looks like a Warhammer, Rifleman, Phoenix Hawk, and a Wasp. Probably just like the other one. Those are really nice looking sculpts. Where, oh, here it is. Oh, okay, it's opens from the bottom. One thing you've noticed is a clay and lance has five mechs. Inner sphere is usually four. Oh wow. Those are really nice minis. I really like them. I like the detail. A couple lighter mechs. And again, you still have like the extra pie cards like Randy Stevens. <laughs> Those sounds like a wrestler's name. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of Alpha Strike. I think I haven't played much. It's very simplistic. But I mean, I guess if you're looking for like real fast games or getting people into Battletech, it'd be really cool. Like I said, I kickstarted this at the $90 value. So you get a lot of stuff. Oh, wow. So it looks like got some the random salvage boxes. There's be four of them in here. 
and salvage. And then the one that I was really looking forward to getting, that's right, the Urban Mech. That mech itself is basically a meme. Let me cut this. The mech itself is basically a meme, but... These other ones I'll get to later, because I know you just want to see the clay box come out. Oh, there we go. Urban Mech and Old Glory right there. <laughs> it's so small. I have to say, the detail on the models is really good. I'm really happy with it. What's fun with this, you throw an AC-20 on him and run around some buildings and just start jacking people on the back with an AC-20. It's probably, that's one of my favorite mechs to play around with. Just going to have some fun painting that guy. What the heck was that? Oh, I'm filming again on my tablet until I get enough money saved up or whatever to get a, a camera rig. Let's see what we got inside of here these other ones these are supposed to be random oh okay storm crow nice i i said i do like these sculpts i do like them a lot i have to say they're pretty clean too there's very little flashing on them if any I'm definitely definitely like that. Okay. Oh, they also come with pilot card and the card for uh, Alpha Strike. That's actually a really cool idea. I guess heavies. Wish would have got some more of them. What's this one? Plus is legendary. We'll do him last, whatever it may be. On the mech. For those who don't know, on the mech was basically the premise of how like modern militaries kind of do it, to where you have a platform, in this case a mech, and you basically can slap on different weapon options, slap on different ones for whatever you want to do. If you say you're hunting heavier mechs, you may put on some PPCs. If you're just hunting infantry, may flamethrowers, machine guns, or, or or the like. The idea is, you go into a combat situation. Whatever b weapons you need best suits the job. Missions over, or say snafu happens, something else, then you go back to the rear, and then you get said new like uh, new arms popped on. So let's see, let's see what this one is. I'm assuming a lot of these are going to be clan max. Yep. Oh, wow. We got another one. So we got another mad dog. So I have two of them now. That's kind of good. It's always good sometimes having like multiples of the same mech. If you're running a lance. I really like detail. If you look, it looks like it almost has like a, a nose bubble. Kind of like uh, say an Apache or an Air Cobra. Or a lot of modern day uh, attack helicopters. That's kind of a cool concept. And again, they come with these cards i wonder if that's the same card or a different card that the strike one came with um unfortunately it is that kind of sucks michael hawkins <laughs> i didn't know that he was a mech pod as well uh well i mean that kind of sucks a little bit but hey whatever i'm still pretty stoked that i got a lot of this stuff i'm gonna walk to the side over here uh, another one, Clan Invasion. I'm actually doing this unboxing at the hobby shop in SCG Lake, in Lake Trove here. Oh, Natter. There we go. These are nasty little light mechs. Sometimes we can pack them with two PPCs, which gets pretty annoying. They'll run up and just shoot you in the side of the back and run away. That's a nice one. Again, the same thing, pilot cards. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm in Lake Trobe right now. Lake Trobe, the SCG shop in Lake Trobe is kind of like the center for the Westmoreland Gamers Guild. There's three major hobby shops in Westmoreland County. You guys, well, you know this. I'm going to do a series of videos on it. Uh, 
saying which ones are all because there's the vault in Greensburg, there's SCG Hobby and Latrobe, and then there is uh, Toy Soldier Gallery and Ligonier. And this is what is that? Oh, that's an archer. You have to forgive me. A, a lot of the newer sculpts, they're redesign, they're reimaginings of the older sculpts. So some of them you have to really look at. Well, that looks really nice. Heavy long range missile boat. They're definitely nice sculpts. Oh wow. That's really nice. Oh, Morgan Keel. Oh, Phantom Mech. Okay. That's really cool. So so far we have nine we have a good bit of mechs. Let's see what else what Indians are all looking for right now. Oh, okay. Ah, it's all the record sheets. That's kind of nice. Oh, wow. Kashi. So it looks like there's a whole slew of different Max. Oh, there, there, here's your adders. ERPPCs. That's kind of cool. Um, A lot of them, just like other things, oh, there's, there, there's your Storm Crow. Or the Roken. What's nice about this here, it's pretty nice. You may photocopy as these, and you can really do a lot with them. Summoner, Clan, as your go. Oh, look, here's your your sheets for uh, elementals. You know, what I mean, I'm kind of can't wait for power armor or battle armor to get more things. Oh, okay, there's some inner sphere stuff. It's different variations. I'm assuming of the max that you got in the previous uh, starter. Yeah, it kind of looks like it because you have you have Star League, then you have Secession Wars, the Stinger. Okay. Yeah, it looks like that it's inside of this Phoenix Hawk. It has a couple extra variations of mechs, which is kind of nice. You can say it's it's a pretty thick book. For the most part, it's, it's all uh, software. There's your archer. Oh, the Marauder. It's another iconic mech. Oh, I, the awesome. Probably one of my favorite mechs, rightly so. And it's the AWS 8Q. Three PPCs and a small. That's nice. So, yeah, it gives you... There's some clan technology in some of these, like ER and stuff like that. Those are more clan-esque... Uh, things because in Battletech whenever Star League was a thing technology was really good then you had the Secession Wars which I'm really cutting down the history here but you had the Secession Wars so a lot of technology was lost and when the Clanners left uh, which was, was left of uh, Star League they maintained their technology their technology never degraded like it did in the Inner Sphere so when they came and they invaded a lot of the houses and the inner spirit himself thought they were basically aliens because the weapon technology was so out of control. The only ones that really knew or had technology comparable was Comstar. And that's a whole nother can of worms. But in this this book here, it looks like they're giving some inner sphere stuff clan technology. Because after the Battle of Turkey, uh, clan technology, or so much of it, scrap. The house has got a hold of it. They start upgrading their arsenals to become more on par with the clan. That's a really cool book. Put that there. What else we got? Okay. What is this? We got two more card packs. It looks like for. I'm assuming because I I got two. Yeah, that one's for just different more pilot skills stuff like that. It's kind of nice. Ah. Uh, Mercenaries of the Inner Sphere 2. I want to say this one was if you kick started so much, you got like a personalized uh, card made up. I'm not sure if these affect the rules or anything. Oh no. Oh, you get, a little, you get your little saying and then you get a thing. That's kind of nice. Definitely a lot of, uh, yeah, like you just take your picture and they do a lot of cool stuff with it. Hope there's not too much reflection off of this because of uh, lighting back here. If, if I had the money, I definitely would have kickstarted this, like or kickstarted it to get this level. But I don't know. 
So these all look fundamentally different. It just gives you some like <laughs> guy this cat. That's pretty awesome. So it just I guess immortalizes you in the Battletech universe. Because I guess the premise of this idea is that your name becomes canon in the Battletech universe. So like you're basically part of Battletech. That's a that was a cool thing they offered. I just didn't have the money to kick it that high. Oh, here we go. Battle maps. Oh, that's the Battle of Two Kid that I just mentioned. So that's really cool. Let's let's rip this sucker open. Let's say a couple different maps. If you guys like me doing stuff like this, like granted, I'm doing a little bit this blind. I've never done this before. So if you guys have any thoughts or suggestions. Like I said, I'm putting this on the page. Just go ahead and suggest things or... Oh, wow, those are really nice. Oh, wow, you have, like, hunks of mech. Looks like drop damage. These are actually... Oh, wow, they're actually full-blown two-sheet maps already together. If A lot of you guys will know whenever you get uh, a sheet, it's usually just two two pieces these are full-blown four-piece maps oh wow that's really going to add a lot of fun to the group these looks like some sort of impacts or craters so there's hunks of mech all through here that's really nice i i have gotten the neoprene uh starters oh and i'm gonna fold it up all goofy on camera oh, there it is I got a lot of the neoprene maps. Those are pretty nice. They're two sided. This is really nice. It's got that new paper smell. Let's see what else we got here. There's a boatload of maps. What's this? Max map pack. Battle two. Oh, it gives you actually rules. That's really cool. I'll have to get the play group uh, folks to come play this sometime. Oh, there we go. Wow. Look again, again, there's, there's blow it up mechs, like hunks of, that's cool. Yeah, there's literally hunks of mechs everywhere. Oh, wow, like lava fields. Those are really well done. Some of the maps you, you get with these guys, uh, they're decent maps, but some are kind of blurry. These are really crisp and clear. Stuff's, okay, that says fire. They've really go, gone a good way, or oh, ocean, above and beyond with their maps. These are really nice. Because some of them are either really blurry, or you have a hard time reading everything. These are nice. I'm glad this came with it. This is going to add a lot new. Because a lot of the starter maps, they're exactly what they are. They're starter. They're kind of bland. These are really interesting. Fire and smoke. Hmm, I'm sure some rules for that. Oh, they're okay. They're individual. If a lot of the advanced rules, like all oh, you always know, fire heats up your mech, stuff like that, and then the smoke uh, can cover. Like also, smoke moves. Like you have wind direction and stuff like that. So they give you an entire page of cardboard popouts. Those look really good. Probably just you know, hunk cardboard. There's four maps. I can't get over how well these look. Oh, wow. Okay. It's like a, a swamp pest. Oh, there we go. Like a river, a pass, a little bit of frozen ground. You have level 10 in here. So that's something that you don't see too often. Normally, in a lot of maps, it's only level, well, it's depth. Like one, which is below level one, clear up to like level three. You have clear up to level actually 11 on here. Saying how high you are. And if you can look, it's like gradually stepped up. That's really cool. That they've gone to that detail with it. And again, there's like hunks of mech laying all over the place. On the map. And this is like a swamp map. With a little bit of hillside. Depth one. Wow, that's really nice. I'm actually looking forward to getting some of these out 
I'm doing a lot. I'm gonna have to get in this paint some mechs here soon. Wow. And what's our last map? So there come with four of those extra size maps, which essentially means eight different look. Oh wow! Look at that. It's like a volcano of some kind. I wonder if that's lava. It might be. Oh, hot mud. It must be like a landslide. This map looks nuts. You're going to be run... Like, some of these pillars are like level 5. It looks like 7. You're going to be running around literally down these little kill zones and getting murked. Really well done. Oh, geyser. I'm sure there's rules for that. Oh, wow. And this is some sort of... Like a beach assault, those facilities. That's really cool. Paved. Oh, this must have been left of a bridge destroyed. Wow, that's really nice. Depth too. So you're gonna have a, a hard time. Oh wow, there's actually you see it's a pile of mech stuck in the water. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Whole bunch of mechs. Just like Landed in the water like a coral reef or something. That's cool. Some sort of facility. The Battle of Two Kid was basically. Uh, it's all juked up. The Battle of Two Kid was a turning point in the clan invasion because. I don't want to get too deep in the lore. Uh, Black Pants Legion. Uh, Tax, he did a great video on the subject. But basically, that was where uh, the Inner Sphere pushed back against the clans. And kind of got some breathing space. They did a, a, a there was a, oh, now I'm looking dumb. There, there was like a, a right of possession, kind of. I'll have to, if you guys want some more videos on that kind of stuff, let me know. I'll see what I can put something together. Let's see what else we got in here. We're getting to the final parts of it. There's a lot of stuff that come in this box. Paradise. Steiner Dice. That's pretty cool. Get a good view of this fist. Oh, a little calm star pendant. The only bad part about these pendants, I like them, but you hang them on anything, they get busted off super easy and get lost. Oh, wow, a little coin medallion for Steiner. That's really nice. And it looks like a griffin on the back. I don't know why they'd pick a griffin. For House Steiner, but okay, whatever. But it's like a little like a challenge coin, kind of. That's cool. Let's see here. Some posters. Oh, wow. Those are... I'm, all of a, I'm not a little big of a poster guy, but... I'm not... I'm not going to get rid of them. This is fairly large. Oh, wow. Let me grab a camera here. That's really cool. Oh, wow. The belt, yeah, elementals. I think that's a Phoenix. That, uh, that, that newer mech that I don't have. Okay, that's really cool. And we're back. I'll, I'll hold on to him. Or I might get him framed. Who knows? I seem to seem to like posters. Now what everyone's really been in anticipation waiting for. Wow. There it is. Clan Invasion. Battle tech. Okay, let's pull this. Let's pull this sucker open here and get a good view of everything. Try to get my kit. Like I said, until I get a better camera set up, let's see here. Looks like a man of war or gorgol. I'm not sure exactly what mechs come in this. I know I. Come on, open up. There it is. 
Okay. Oh, wow. Let me just go. It's, really, it's really nice artwork. The, the Bonds of Battle. It's a little book it's supposed to come with. Ooh, that's really what I wanted them two dice. More pilot cards. All right, and this is what everyone's been really looking forward to the max. So, and this one, nice little classic Timberwolf. Looks really nice. You got your Executioner, which is basically a different version of the Man of War. If you guys have any ideas on what clan I should paint, I have no idea. Oh, Grundle. I think that's a Grundle. These look really nice. Sorry my big hand's in the way. Oh, we got another ad Adder. So I have two of them. So I have two duplicates so far from the clans. I think it's a Nova. Wow. These look really good. And then two bases of elementals. Those are really nice. Get to focus a little bit. Wow. Those will look really to scale. And there's two bases of them. I'm, I'm kind of excited for elementals and stuff. And the only reason is, of, which means more vehicles are going to become prevalent in Battletech. With like the new rendering of the rules and such. I do like vehicles. I like infantry a lot. I really do. And I, have a, I still have some heavy vehicles from whenever I played the last edition. Oh, here we go. A regular a rule book. It's not very thick. But then again, it's only supposed to be adding some rules for elementals. Uh, the record sheets, obviously. Okay, a lot of the weapons for the clan. It has a lot of the updated weapons. Like, let's see here. Oh, we have Artemis. Which, the anti-missile system. Think of, like, the Artemis system on, like, Navy ships. Uh, like the Sea Whiz. Basically, you have those mounted on your mech. So, whenever you take, like, SRMs or long-range missiles. Or LRMs. Uh, the, your attacker, he rolls how many shots he gets. And then on the Artemis system, depending on what it is, you also roll a set dice. And that's how many missiles get knocked out of the air. Uh, unless they've changed the rules. I'm going off of older rules, mind you. Uh, oh yeah, the attacker player modify, applies a four modifier to the roll on the cluster hit table. Oh wow, so it's even a little bit different than before. Before, you would just roll, then you would roll, see how many missiles get knocked out of the air. It's a flat four get knocked off. So that's kind of cool. Uh, streaks, sell your ammunition. Oh, case, they have case in here. Case is kind of nice. Gauze rifle, accelerators, the streak. Uh, so it basically like punches through targeting computer. So they're giving you, unless you picked up uh, Total War, if you picked up the last starter, uh, which was, uh, what would I believe that was called? It was just called Battletech. It was a Session Wars. It gave you the base. Now they're adding more stuff like your gauze rifles, your your pulse lasers, your target computer now, your streaks. So they're they're gearing up. Some of us are like I've already bought Total War, which is kind of nice. But like, yeah, this is your gauze rifle, all your stuff for you, your pulse weaponry, ERs. Well, that's really cool. They're slowly elementals. They're slowly bringing you into all aspects of the game. So I feel one of the next things are have besides elementals, which introduce uh, power armor or battle armor to the battle tech universe. I'm feeling we're gonna have infantry and in in, uh, vehicles next, and that'll be a complete war system. Anti mech attacks, which is really nice. Force building, how to build a force. 
that's kind of the one thing you really have to hunt around and go to their website like to actually build custom Macs and everything. Which I'm, I'm kind of a fan of and I'm not a fan of scenarios because Battletech's not meant to be competitive. It's just a fun beer and pretzels game. And the minute you start really customizing your mechs, other than doing a campaign to where, oh, okay, I knocked out said uh, Devastator. Well, I'm going to take that freaking PPC and I'm going to try to put it on my mech. Other than stuff like that, it's fine. But if you're trying to tailor mechs, it re I feel it really defeats the spirit of the game. But this gives you a better step on how to do force organization and stuff like that for your mechs. Okay, the modifiers, the additional modifiers for scenarios. A little bit of an art gallery. It's kind of cool. That's my thing. Like I said, I'm not really big. I'm not a big clanner. If, you're, if you guys have a suggestion on what clan I should paint, let me know. Uh, new table. That's kind of nice. These are always a must-have for getting people to play. I think I might do a battle report. Like a how-to video. There's so many of them done on YouTube. I don't feel like I'm, I'm copying people. Some more data sheets. And look, they even have... That's kind of cool. If you're Timberwolf, you're Executioner. So it has the sheets for the mechs in this set. And then ideally, it has updated battle sheets, the clan invasion sheets, for the mechs in the other sets. Like your Griffin and the Starter, or the beginner set. Your commando, and it has those with like Artemis 4. So they've actually updated a lot of the inner sphere stuff to reflect the technology capture. So it gives you different weapon variants, which is a cool concept because unless you have like access to like say Mech Factory or like some of the other data sheets, you're only using what the starters came with, which are pretty adequate. But this gives you more options. Like it changes a lot of weapons, like uh, medium lasers, oh ER PPC. So that's kind of cool. But still some stuff left in here. The primer. Oh, it gives you this basically gives you a rundown. The leagues, the eras of BattleTech, Dark Age. Whenever we did stuff here at the shop, we played we played some a lot of Secession Wars, and we were doing a campaign before the Rona hit. And uh, I'd like for that to get going back up, but 40K is kind of on a big re resurgence in the shop. All kind of glossary clan rules, trial of blood, stuff like that. That's kind of cool. Maps. Yeah, the Battletech manual. I need to get the clan readout. Really well done. What is this? Oh, another poster. Uh, oh, okay, this is pre- and post-clan invasion. Oh, wow, that's pretty big. So this is Intersphere after the clan invasion. And then obviously this is Intersphere pre-clan invasion. That's kind of cool. It's not really, uh, as cool as this map is, a lot of times it you could use it for campaigns because it has all the worlds, you know what I mean, which is quite extensive. Got some, got your standard cardboard max to double your force. Root rubble, like basically ruins, that's kind of nice. Extra hills. These are kind of nice too if you're trying to bring someone into battle tech. So you have them and like you, you just pop them out, put them on there. You can figure out what you want to do with them. That's kind of nice. Some more terrain. And well, two more map sheets. So we got a lot of, I got a lot of stuff. And this is only the first wave. I'm trying to think what else we're supposed to get out of this. Yeah, you see how small the regular map sheet is? You put two of them together and make a full map. So that's what they basically did there. Hey, Logan. Hey. Uh, just doing an unboxing for the YouTube. For... No, you're good. That's a, that's the whole point of doing it at the shop, so we can have interaction with people. Ah, uh, I get yeah. Just... That was that's pretty cool box opening so far. 
I'm really looking forward to painting the, the Urban Mac. It's definitely one of my favorites. Well, that's pretty much it for now. Uh, let me do some stuff here. If you guys have any comments, questions, or anything like that, just go ahead, uh, hit us up. If you guys like the video, that's cool. I'm going to give everyone a freaking seizure bouncing around like this, but... If you have any comments or questions, just put them on the Facebook or on uh, this video itself. Share it, like it, we appreciate it. Uh, but until then, we will see you later.